Hello again, fellow Beach Bum Traders. We hope that you had a great trading week last week. We hope that you found our weekly game plan from last week helpful to you in your trading. Please let us know if you found our weekly game plan from last week helpful to you in the comments below. And please let us know how your trading went this week. Uh, good or bad, what did you learn? Uh, how can we improve our weekly game plans to help you succeed in your trading? Now let's get started preparing our game plan for next week. Hello again fellow Beach Bum Traders. Welcome to part two of the Beach Bum Weekly Trading Game Plan for the week of November 15th through the of November 19th. Again, this is part two of our weekly trading game plan. If you have not yet seen part one, talking about inflation, etc., uh, you can see that now at the link that I'll provide in the description box below. Uh, in that part, part one, we talked more in more detail about why we're s proposing to split up the uh, weekly trading game plan videos into two parts. Part one focusing more on inputs and strategies, themes, etc. Part two allowing us to focus more on our watch list, individual stocks, etc. Again, we, we would like your feedback on this format. Do you like it? Uh, do you not like it? Suggestions for improvement, suggestions for other format. We're, al we're always open to uh, suggestions for improvement of how to help you uh, make your trading more successful. So I won't go into details on part one of the agenda, uh, but we'll jump into part two. Um, and again, these components will not necessarily appear in this order, but some of the things we want to cover in part two is talk about uh, trades we've closed last week, what worked, what didn't work, uh, how that can help you in the future. If there's any inputs from the AC Investor blog that we want to add, and then we'll talk about what symbols we're going to add or remove from our watch list um, for next week uh, and why. If there's any due diligence, uh, detailed due diligence we want to do on individual stocks, we'll include that in here. And then we'll talk in more detail about uh, our buy sell targets uh, for individual symbols for next week. So, again, Please provide us your feedback in the comments below, and we will get started on part two. Let's take a quick look at the AC Investor blog to see uh, if there's anything that he's got uh, that we want to use for input for our watch list uh, updates for this week. So I'm on the AC Investor blog. Please see our previous video that I'll leave in the description box below how we use the AC Investor blog and his watch list for the week as input in preparing our own watch list. So I'm just going to very quickly scroll through that. You can go see the previous video. It'll talk about more detail about his strategy and how we use that. So we can see some of the uh, stocks that he has on his watch list for this week. Uh, SPI. Looks like a breakout setup, set up, EV space, um, CMMB, we looked at that, it's a biotech, uh, uh, looks like they have a catalyst at the end of the year, but uh, it didn't look like something that we'd want to swing trade right now, um, Clover Health, again, um, not something that really fits our criteria, but you can take a look at it. Uh, maybe something you want to day trade. You can see uh, his uh, rationale for looking at that. Boozy, you know, we've talked about before. It's an ARVR type play, so it's uh, got momentum based on the hype of uh, Metaverse stuff. And uh, you can see it's, it's looking at a breakout play. So again... Uh, maybe a possible day trade for some of you, but uh, not uh, the type of swing trade uh, uh, that we would chase. And, and we're not really into momentum breakout plays, uh, as, as you hopefully know. But if that's your style, that may work for you. AXDX, 
stock, uh, not something that we're, we're interested in. DD is a Chinese stock, as you know, we're uh, not even considering any Chinese or Hong Kong stocks due to the political situation. Um, Ryan uh, looks like a specialty real retailer, I'm guessing, and you can see it's very high. It's a breakout play, um, and. Neg, new egg, ho oh, again, and th I believe this is a uh, Reddit, Wall Street bets uh, type stock. So again, you know, um, he does focus on technical analysis for day trades. So if that's you know, if, if you're more of a day trader, uh, you can look at this in more detail. Please see our previous video um, that'll go in more detail. But um, we like to review this as potential input, stocks that we might want to research further uh, for future consideration, uh, but I don't see anything right this second that I want to uh, add to our watch list right now. Okay, so now let's start working on our watch list updates for our watch list for this week, for the week of November 15th through the 19th. And I am on the watch list screen in Weeble. I'm on the online version of Weeble. Please see the description box below for our affiliate link for Weeble. Get two or more free stocks with your copy of Weeble. And again, this is our, our watch list, our entire watch list on the watch list tab. You can see our previous video on how to create a watch list in Weeble. So I won't go into details on that right now. I'm going to jump over to the stock screen to another place that you can maintain your watch list in Weeble. Again, we have a previous video on how to maintain your watch list in Weeble. Find this view convenient to be able to also see the stock chart at the same time that I'm going through uh, the watch list. So that's very helpful. Uh, we'll start with Airy. Uh, we've had Airy Air Industries Group on our watch list for a little while, and you can see our previous due diligence video. I'll leave this uh, link in the description box below, but you can see that video for uh, why we're watching Airy, what we're looking for in more detail. Uh, as you'll see, it really hasn't come down to uh, the point that we would like, which is somewhere uh, in this $1 range, uh, we would like it to uh, come back down there, reach support, turn back up, we're waiting for news, etc. Please see that other due diligence video for more details about uh, what we're looking for in area and how we're planning to play that. Uh, we're going to add a new company to our watch list, BDSI, Biodelivery Sciences International. Um, here's some of our price targets and we'll talk about that uh, in more detail in a minute. But right now I'm going to include a link to a more detailed, um, actually I'm going to embed uh, our due diligence video that we just made uh, going into the due diligence on BDSI and why we're adding it to the watch list uh, for this week. So I'm going to embed that video right now. And then we'll come back to our watch list in Weeble. If you are, don't want to watch that detailed due diligence on BDSI, you can skip forward to uh, where there's a break with our disclosure statement. So uh, we'll come back and talk about BDSI in a few minutes after uh, this due diligence video. Hello again, fellow Beach Bum Traders. Today we'd like to share with you some due diligence that we're doing on another company. BDSI is the ticker symbol. The name of the company is Biodelivery Sciences International. Uh, this is a, a biotech company that we have profitably swung in the past and it showed up on one of our daily FinBiz screeners for uh, undervalued stocks. and. We wanted to update our due diligence to see if this is something that we want to put on our watch list and potentially uh, buy again uh, at this point. So who is Biodelivery Sciences? Uh, it's a pharmaceutical company, again a biotech. Uh, we can see they have a number of products. Uh, they've got some um, 
opioid treatment for opioid dependencies. Uh, again, it's opioid-induced uh, illnesses, chronic non-cancer pain, etc. They're based in North Carolina. They've been around since 1977 or 1997. Uh, here's their web page. We can see it's health related, novel therapies, etc. Typical, uh, you know, bio, biotech web page. Not a lot of detail, not a lot of uh, marketing. Though we see they had some some news. Their their earnings reported. So let's dig in and let's see uh, what we find for uh, biodelivery sciences. Okay, we're going to start our due diligence using Chartmill. You can find our affiliate link to Chartmill included in the description box below as well as the link to this profile for biodelivery sciences. So we'll briefly look at their profile. We can see, you know, they had a, a pretty significant drop off and that's why it showed up in the undervalued uh, screeners that we did. We can see the setup is not very good right now, um, but again, we'll, we'll see if it has a possibility of turning around and, and becoming better in the near future if it's something we want to watch. Uh, we can see the fundamental ratings kind of neutral, uh, but it's got a pretty good uh, growth rating and a pretty good profitability rating, neutral valuation, um, and kind of a negative health rating. So here's a similar um, description of their profile, and we can go. We can look in detail at their chart. So again, we can see it broke down through support, um, but it may be bouncing off of this low here. So that may be an opportunity if that provides further support. So we can see it really fell off. Looks like that was the earnings. Looks close to their earnings date. And that was probably the case. So we can look at the technical analysis um, ratings. Uh, again, we, we kind of saw the technical setup is, is bad. Uh, right now it's, it's just falling. Uh, performance is, is bad right now. Uh, setup isn't great right now, but we can see there's this potential support about around a 321 level. So uh, let's see if that's something that might provide an opportunity. So fundamental. You can see it's a little a, a little positive fundamental, uh, not bad. Profitability is very positive, so they're making money. So that's a good thing. Uh, we like to see that in a biotech. It's it's you know not not all that common. Valuation is relatively positive, um, so that's good. Price to earnings is good. Growth is very positive. So uh, that's you know a, a, a growth a biotech stock. Uh, that's kind of interesting, but the health is not great. Um, some of their ratios are below average for the industry, so that might be a little bit concerning. Um, and it's got a low Altman Z. It's positive but low, so you can see the chart mill saying that that might uh, pose some risk there. So that's something we'd want to uh, watch out for is uh, further dilution, offerings, raising cash. Uh, we want to watch out for that. Um, although they are profitable, so hopefully they're generating cash flow um, to keep them solvent. So we can look at analyst ratings real quickly. Uh, it's very positive. Seven analysts, so it's it's reasonably covered. Uh, and of the seven analysts, 94% are positive. We got one hole. We've got no cells. Uh, so analyst ratings look pretty good. Uh, we can look at estimates 
Again, we'll, we'll see this data also in Weeble, um, probably easier to see in Weeble, but these rating overviews are very nice in Chartmill. So uh, let's dig a little deeper in uh, some other areas in BDSI and see what we can find. Okay, let's take a quick look at BDSI and Seeking Alpha. Again, you can just enter the ticker symbol in the search. <clears throat> I'll put this link in the description box. We'll just very quickly see if we see any red flags here. Look at the news and the analysis. Uh, see the earnings call. Uh, see in the past. Okay, so they have some legal issues that uh, were causing them issues. Um, Brett Jensen is, is a biotech um, analyst, uh, author, a speaker that we, we followed for quite a while. So uh, it's good to see that he's positive on BDSI. So that's good. Said they beat in the past, beat, but they missed on revenue. Okay, so that probably explains the drop. Is uh, they their earnings were good, but their revenue uh, missed expectations. See the ratings in Seeking Alpha, uh, bullish authors and Wall Street. Uh, they're getting all all A's for factors in uh, Seeking Alpha. That's good. Uh, revenue looks relatively positive. Again, relatively positive going forward, so that's good. Earnings, uh, not too bad. Valuation, profitability, looks, you know, not, not bad. Uh, they've got some debt, uh, but it's not horrendous. They've got some cash, so they've got $100 million in cash. Uh, good institutional uh, representation, so that's positive. We like to see that. They tend to hold. Uh, there's the Altman Z score again. It's positive, but low. Uh, does not have a high short. Uh, again, you know, positive EPS. So they are, they are making money. Uh, small positive free cash flow. Uh, not bad. So uh, we will continue. Uh, we don't see any major red flags right there right now. Okay, let's also do a really quick scan of BDSI, Biodelivery Sciences, and FinViz. Uh, you can search for the symbol similarly by entering it in the search bar. I'll put this link in the description box below, and you can also find our affiliate link to FinViz. In the description box below. Similarly, that we saw in chart mill, we see uh, it broke down through support. If we zoom out a little bit, let's see if we can find a, a support level. So it looks like, um, again, as we saw in chart mill, it looks like there's uh, multiple touches down in this 3, 306 area. So that may be another level of support. It looks like when it declined, it did hit that area and bounce back up. So that may provide us with a, a good uh, next level of support to look at. So again, we can quickly look at the metrics. We can see the recommendation is, is positive green, some debt. Uh, we don't see a major discrepancy in the float and the outstanding, so um, I would suppose they, they don't have a uh, an offering sitting out there that they would tap into right away. We can see the price range down from 306 to 5. So uh, we've got some upside if we look at the weekly. Uh, we, you know, downside to around 306, which is very close. We've got near-term upside in the five-ish range and longer term up to the you know s high six uh, seven-ish range so it seems like the risk reward right now is is pretty good uh, we see if there's any negative news um, we know the earnings was probably the cause for the decline uh, here's another earnings miss. So uh, they just had earnings, so it seems like the risk of a, a downtrend on the next earnings report is, is low at this time. So we've got a couple months. Um, we can see their financials here. Uh, it's been positive. 
positive but de uh, you know somewhat declining uh, revenue is pretty stable so I don't see any any major red flags here so we will continue okay let's also look at BDSI biodelivery sciences and Weeble I'm on the stocks tab in the browser version of Weeble you can find our affiliate link for Weeble in the description box below. Get two or more free stocks with your copy of Weeble. Um, you can easily again search for any stock by entering the ticker in the uh, search bar. And again, we have a, another um, video on how to add stocks to a watch list uh, in the stocks tab on Weeble. Uh, we can again see the chart. We'll look at this in a, more detail in a minute, but we see this similar decline on the third. Uh, it dropped off. Uh, we can see it's it's approaching the support level. Uh, support one is around. This is showing 316. Uh, I drew a line at that 306 level. We can see it briefly dip down, touch that line, and bounce back up. Um, let's look at some of the data. Uh, from this uh, stocks tab you can pop up the lower pane we can see news okay so uh, one of the analysts uh, lowered a price target that probably accounts for uh, some of the additional decline look at their financials income their actuals are not too bad relative to estimates our balance sheet again is above estimates cash flow has been below estimates so that's again probably uh, attributing to some of the decline Got their income statement uh, again we had a dip and uh, it will be kind of flat revenue uh, de somewhat declining and operating income is, is pretty flat. So we see the balance sheet. Debt to assets is declining, which is good. Liabilities flat. Assets pretty flat. Cash flow uh, looks like uh, it has improved, but uh, and it, it was above uh, estimates. So. analyst here this says buy based on eight analysts at Weeble chart mills I think said seven 75 percent buy we've got a strong buy and a hold so that seems positive uh, some short interest but we know that that's pretty low we look at institutional holdings increased decreased and we can see you know some order, order flow we've got some large orders etc so uh, helpful information again you can pop that up from the bottom of the stock screen on Weeble um, again we can see you know uh, it does look like it may have uh, a, achieved a support level here we know there's this uh, longer term support level at the 306 if we zoom out a ways we should see those multiple touches at the 306 level. There we can see the multiple touches at 306. So again, our, our risk is very low. We've got a potential reward up to the five area, and then we saw longer term there was a high six to seven area. Um, again, all all the metrics we saw in chart mill and. Uh, Seeking Alpha and Finviz and here in Weeble, it, it doesn't look overly negative. I don't see any red flags. Uh, we definitely want to watch the technical setup and make sure that it's going to hold support. It has been declining, uh, but it looks like it may have stabilized. So we're going to we're going to put BDSI on our watch list for now. Um, see if it does uh, stop declining and, and turn back up. At which point we will uh, look at it for a potential long. Again, because we saw declines on earnings, um, we may not want to hold this for a long time. Uh, we might want to get out before the next earnings report. Um, so 
looks good so far. Uh, we'll give it a watch, see if it's something we want to buy on that upturn. Uh, if it breaks down further, then you know, we'll let it go. So uh, we hope this all helps. Uh, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Uh, please share this with your friends and fellow traders. Please subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading uh, YouTube channel and provide us with your feedback. What do you think of BDSI? Do you have any data that we didn't cover or opinions, etc.? Please put that in the comments below. We hope this all helps. Good luck. Have a great trading day. Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. Please share this video with your fellow traders and friends. And please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comments section below. And let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again. Good luck and have a great trading day. Okay, welcome back to the stock screen in Weeble. Hopefully you watched the due diligence portion on BDSI. Hopefully you find that uh, informational. Uh, you can see we're looking for uh, to see if BDSI has achieved support, whether it's going to turn up uh, or come back down and touch 306 again and hopefully turn back up. If so, we would go long BDSI. Again, there's more details in the due diligence we just talked about. Um, Boyle is the long on natural gas. In part one, uh, we looked at the futures, etc., the curve for natural gas and oil, etc. Uh, if Boyle happens to come down to a support turn up, uh, we may uh, decide on going long natural gas if it looks like uh, we're going to get a pop there. Uh, we also use that to look for a uh, uh, top in boil, which it would constitute a bottom in cold, which is the short on natural gas. Right now, it's kind of natural gas kind of in the middle, so we're looking for, you know, a strong trend. Same thing with drip is the short on oil. So again, it's it's kind of in the middle. We would be looking for a bottom in drip, which would be a top in gush, which is the long on oil, long leverage DTF on oil that we use to look for a top in gush, which would be a bottom on bo uh, on drip and vice versa. So that's why we keep those in the watch list. Uh, it makes it easy to find the tops and bottoms of these guys uh, by looking at the inverse. Another one that we're adding to our watch list for this week is GRWG, which is Grow Generation. And we can talk about that a minute. Um, I do want to go back uh, to DRIP a, uh, a minute and congratulate everyone who has been following us in the profitable scalps. You can see we've been posting in the comments of the previous week's watch list our entry points and exit points when we get stopped out of DRIP. Uh, again, these are scalping plays. We'll continue to scalp the tops of oil using DRIP. Um, that's an ongoing thing. Um, and then, same thing with natural gas. Uh, but let's talk about grow generation just briefly. We're adding that. Here's our price targets. Um, the reason we're adding it is, well, some of the reasons for this week, it, because it had irrationally negative reaction to earnings. So, as we've talked before, that's one of the things we look for, is if they report earnings and the market reacts irrationally, particularly irrationally negative, and it becomes undervalued. We're going to uh, take advantage of that opportunity. This is also a cannabis play. Cannabis stocks have been heating up a little bit right now again. Um, and this is uh, what Jim Cramer calls a picks and shovels play because they supply um, the uh, components for growing cannabis at home, it's not just cannabis, it's, it's any kind of horticulture at home. 
But again, this is a pick, picks and shovels play. It's not wholly dependent on legalization, um, you know, for commercial use. So uh, we like this one. Um, we we've, we've uh, traded this before profitably. Uh, we might do a future due diligence video to go into more detail, but we're adding grow generation this week. Uh, it may have already run away from us. We may have missed the the irrationally negative reaction. It dropped down and then it bounced back up pretty quick. So if it's running away, we'll let it go. We'll take it back off. But if it does come back down and uh, give us an opportunity to get in, we'll try to get into grow generation. Uh, we're going to put IBM here. This IBM is a longer term watch. Um, we're looking for a support level around 117 and a turn back up. You can see IBM pays a, a dividend of 5.5%, which is you know higher than the 2% target inflation. Uh, they did just do a split up. Um, I can't remember the name of the the other company they split into. I'm not terribly interested in the other one, uh, but we're going to watch IBM to come down to that 117 range, and if it does, then uh, we would go long IBM, and that, that's a long-term investment type play for the uh, long-term swing, etc. Uh, we talked about cold. Uh, let's talk about load for a minute. And I'm leaving that on here, even though we're long on, uh, still long on load. Uh, and the reason being is uh, they came out with worse than expected earnings after we went long. It dropped. Um, we could see that drop, okay, on the third after their earnings. And uh, I just wanted to point out again, we're still long, but please remember that successful string swing trading often requires a lot of patience and what I call intestinal fortitude um, particularly you know if you buy in across earnings uh, sometimes they report unexpected earnings it's worse than expected it drops or guidance isn't what it was expected it drops again you have to have patience if, if you have a good thesis if the story is good uh, you have to be patient yeah, it's it's not fun seeing it go red. You know, it can be severely red for some period of time, um, but that's what swing trading is all about: is uh, you know being patient through those those bumps and uh, waiting for your thesis to play out for it to swing back up and make a nice profit. Uh, you can see our previous due diligence video on load Comstock mining on what that thesis is, what the story is that we're looking for at load and why we're still holding and we'll continue to hold at this point. So uh, that's why I put it in the watch list just so we could talk about it. Um, you know, if, if seeing red in your portfolio, if that type of drop is not something that, that you want to deal with, then, you know, swing trading may not be the best style for you. You might want to do shorter term uh, day trading, scalping, etc. It's just different styles, different strokes for different folks, you know. So pets, uh, we got stopped out of our long in pets at 3042 on the 8th from 2666. Uh, you can see this, you know, several weeks swing. Uh, we should have got the dividend. This should have been, we got stopped out post uh, X dividend. So we should have collected a dividend. Um, we also had sold a covered call at the $35 uh, strike price, and then when pets dipped, uh, we bought that call back. So that's a nice strategy. Uh, we'll probably do a future due diligence video on that. Um, and again, we, we had bought, bought pets back here somewhere, and when it started to run, that... Uh, call got bought uh, when it dipped back down that call the price went down so we bought it back made a profit on the call then pets went back up and uh, we and then we got stopped out when it dipped back down so you know there's multiple ways to make money on these guys we made money on the co uh, selling and then buying back the covered call we made money on the dividend then we made money on the swing so again those are all strategies to make money and that's what we're all here for right 
So we're going to add Roku. Roku again had a, a dip on um, poor earnings, uh, poor guidance. They're having supply shortage issues that's disrupting particularly their uh, TV sales or hardware sales. Uh, we may do a future due diligence video on why we like Roku. We played Roku in the past. We we own Roku TVs, Roku boxes. So I kind of have a feel for what's going on with Roku and it would probably uh, be wise to do that due diligence. Uh, but I think this earnings drop, I think we're going to see Roku swing uh, more positive in the future. So uh, it may be a long, longer term swing, um, but we're looking for a bottom in Roku and then a swing back up uh, in the future. So we're adding that to our watch list. TTT is the long on yields, uh, short on price of uh, the 20 plus year treasuries. Uh, we're long at from 30 uh, that we went in on the 9th. So we've been long for a little while as we posted in the comments and we're holding that. Um, one of the other things uh, I should probably do another video on is, is how we manage this uh, position. So what we're doing is we're moving a stop up. We've got a stop. Right now it's sitting at a, about uh, 3176. You can see it's right below that pivot line. I zoom in a little bit, get a better view. There's that pivot line. So I've got my stop just a couple cents below that pivot line so that if if the market makers try to snipe stops, they're going to push it just two or just a penny below that pivot line. I don't want them to snipe that stop. So I put it a couple sets below uh, a support level. Uh, you can see I try to stay typically two support levels away from the current price. Because again, I, I don't want to get stopped out early on this one, but I definitely want to take profits when it turns down. So again, that's why I left that here so we could talk about that strategy. Again, I'll, I'll probably do a, a more detailed live type uh, video of, of how you move the stops up, when to move them, uh, et cetera, and Weeble. Um, so again, you can see that's where I've got my stop. There's the BWAP, it's still running up. So we're gonna let it run and continue to make a profit on TTT. Again, that's why I just left it here so we could talk about it. It's uh, We're not looking at going long at this point. Uh, UVXY is the long on the VIX. Again, we'll you know, go play the VIX long when it bottoms, short when it tops. Uh, as those opportunities play out, right now the VIX is sitting at 16-ish. Uh, we would look for a drop below 16. Uh, recent low is 1470 so somewhere in this support level uh, we'd go long the VIX if it really spikes we would go short the best VIX with SVXY. WWR we talked about in a previous game plan a couple weeks ago so please see the game plan from 1018 for more details about you know why are we watching WWR what are we looking for and then how would we play it again I won't go into details you can see it's run up a bit it may not come back down to where we'd like it which is somewhere in this uh, low three area um, and then we would go long WWR wait for news sell on the spike and get out so WYY we've had on the watch list for a little while uh, we're still looking for it to uh, come down please be aware they have earnings on the 15th so you may want to wait until after the 15th after market close uh, to see what the market reaction is to their earnings before you jump in um, again watch for updates in the comments you know we we do screen scans on a daily basis if we find something new to add to the watch list uh, we'll post in the comments of this week's watch list. Uh, if there's news that affects the stock on our watch list and we want to take it off, like we took DPW off a while back when they did a shelf offering, uh, you know, uh, we will post that in the comments so that, so that you're aware. Um, 
we will try to post that information in our social media sites. I'll put links in the description to our Twitter uh, page. Uh, we also have a new Facebook group. Um, I'll put that in the description box as well. Please join us in the Facebook group. We can have, uh, you know, real-time type discussions in the Facebook group uh, about any topic you want to talk about. So here's our social media. We'll try to post updates there as well. And otherwise, that's I believe that's all of our updates for this week's watch list. If you have any uh, requests for due diligence, any ideas to add to the watch list, please post them in the comments, post them in the Facebook group. Uh, we'll respond as soon as we're able. And please give us your feedback. Hopefully you like this video. Please, again, give us your feedback in the comments. Let us know what we can do better. How can we help you be more successful in your trading? And otherwise, we uh, hope you like. We hope you'll subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends and fellow traders. And we wish you good luck and have a great trading week. We hope that you like our weekly game plan for the trading week for this week. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you found this helpful, we hope that you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Plum Trading YouTube channel. And please click the bell icon below to automatically be notified whenever we publish a new video. Please also share this with your fellow traders and friends via the share button included below. And let us know if you found our weekly game plans helpful in the comments uh, included below. And uh, let us know how we can improve, what would you like to see more, less of, etc. Thank you again for watching. Uh, good luck and have a great trading week. Bye.